Manganese is extremely redox active, making it an appealing component of an electrode for energy storage. However, making manganese oxide-based energy storage practical is a significant challenge. In advanced materials, Professor John Wang and colleagues from the National University of Singapore address how close we are to achieving the high theoretical capacitance of manganese oxide-based electrode materials. The main challenge in developing manganese oxide-based electrodes is their intrinsic poor electrical connectivity, leading to low capacitances. To reduce the gap between the theoretical and the practical capacitances, the texture of the manganese oxide can be engineered to create more redox active sites. Through the growth of manganese oxide on conductive carbon-based or metal form substrates and the doping of other transition metals, the electrical connectivity can be improved. We believe by growing nano-sized manganese oxide nanosheets of 2 to 4 nanometer onto carbon nanotube network or graphene forms with refined pore size, capacitances close to the theoretical values could be achieved. These proposed structures could maximize mass loading, redox active sites, and electrical connectivity. Manganese oxide-based materials have also been studied as anodes in lithium and sodium ion batteries. Although the unique tunneling structure of manganese oxide allows for facile intercalation of lithium ions, the low electrical connectivity and the large volume change that occurs between lithiation and delithiation are obstacles yet to be addressed. To find out more about manganese oxide-based energy storage, please visit the Advanced Materials homepage.